Hey, Coffee Cuties, we are back with another banger. So today, we are going to be getting into some beauty tips and how we can use them to increase our pretty privilege. So let's just get right into it. So I'm going to break it down into some categories. We're going to start with hair, skin, diet, and then a lifestyle. So let's just go ahead and get into hair. So I'm one of those natural hair girls who don't know much about high porosity versus low porosity etc all that type of stuff is a little bit too technical for me but if you are expert in that be sure to leave it down in the comments and I'll be sure to do a video all about that once I get a better understanding all I know personally is that my hair needs moisture so you can again let me know which porosity I am so some of the key things that you need in order to have a hair type for hair that needs a lot of moisture you need a spray bottle i'm going to leave an example on the screen and then you also need in the midwest we call it white girl brushes but some people call it paddle brushes some people call it detangle brushes whatever name you use for it you're going to need one when you have some thick or fine 4c natural hair so next i'm going to get into what i detangle with one of my favorite detanglers is from African Pride. It is a aloe and coconut oil mixture. So aloe is really good for hair growth. And I absolutely love this pre-poo. It is very cheap as well. It's only like $5.99. You can get it from Walmart, any type of beauty supply store. And when you spray your hair down with water, then you add the aloe the pre-poo to it and then you use your white girl brush and you start from your ends to your roots it is going to detangle your hair with no issues it literally cuts down my detangle process before i wash my hair it's literally cut it down and like half ever since i discovered this product and again it's really good for hair growth and it really stops your hair from breakage etc but as far as my actual favorite hair products to use for shampoo, conditioners, deep conditioners, etc. I really like TGIN. They have a moisture line. And I also really like As I Am. And I do use this um, other brand. I think it's called Deluxe or Dukes or whatever. I want to leave it on the screen. Sorry, I don't know why I cannot think of the actual name of this product. But they have a good buttercream. I also use their gel, etc. So those are my top three favorite lines when it comes to, again, taking care of my natural hair and adding that moisture that I feel like we need. I do twist outs with these products. I do blowouts with these products. When I actually do a blowout, I use um, Tracy Ellis Ross. I use her um, heat protectant, so I'm going to have a picture of that on the screen as well. I really like her heat protectant her heat protectant so that is another good product for 4c hair i also used to really use the myel rosemary drops but when they went viral with tiktok and then between that and myel kind of selling the company allegedly or whatever i guess she's still the face of the company ceo but to me i when something gets too popular i get a little wary about it because i don't know if people are gonna start watering down the products if they're gonna start um just fake flat out selling fake products, especially if you choose to get your products from Amazon. I honestly will discourage our natural hair cuties from getting any natural hair products from Amazon because there are a lot of fakes. I would rather you go into somewhere like Target, go into a beauty, a reputable beauty supply store because some of the ones that are kind of ran by the Asian community, they even, unfortunately, sometimes, not all, but sometimes will switch out products. So I like to go to like Sally's Beauty and things like that. But let me know where you girlies get your natural hair products. But those are the key products that I have been using lately. But next, let's get into skin. So I don't really like wearing makeup like that. So when I do, I'm going to get into my first skin hack. I like a tinted moisturizer. And to me, the best tinted moisturizer on the market is by Bare Minerals. If you got another recommendation, be sure to let your girl know. But I've literally been using this product for years. I am in the chestnut flavor, or not flavor, but I am in the chestnut skin tone. Sometimes my skin can be a little bit darker than chestnut. Sometimes it can be slightly lighter if it's the winter. But I feel like this tone 
pretty much blends no matter the time of year, even if I am a little bit lighter or darker. So be sure to just get Color Match in this bare minimal tinted moisturizer, and I promise you're going to love it. It give, it doesn't feel cakey. It feels very gentle. It gives you that dewy glow even in the wintertime. I personally don't like matte makeup. I like a dewy, glowy type of skin. Kind of, it matches our melanin. It basically lets our melanin really be popping in the sun, etc. But again, let me know what you girls use. But in order to not have to wear makeup all the time, especially with the summer much coming, I really like gel cleansers. So I was a Dermalogica girly at first, and that bottle was like eight ounces for like $43 or something like that. So I was looking at another uh, brown skin baddie on YouTube and she recommended La Rose Posay. I may be saying it wrong. I don't know, but it's in the blue bottle. I'm going to have a picture on the screen. This gel cleanser, cleanser is very compatible with the special cleansing gel and you get like so many ounces you get like 13 ounces for 18 dollars so i would literally run to ulta to get this cleanser i have not really seen any major breakouts since i use this cleanser i've been using it probably like six months and i have suffered from hormonal acne so that is big i don't know what's in this chemical makeup I don't know what the heck, but I was spending $43 and, you know, Dermalogica was pretty good, but to not have any active breakups, even breakouts, even during that time of the month, again, please go to Ulta, get this cleanser and let me know what you think. And again, only get these type of products when it comes to hair products, cleansers, etc. only from reputable places. Um, again, Ulta sells this. You can buy La Rose Posay and like Walgreens. You could go to Target. I even think Walmart has it. Just somewhere that actually has like the legit stock products because again, there's a lot of fakes on the market and I just would hate you girlies to get a fake knockoff version. But when it comes to skin, when it comes to hyperpigmentation, my all-time favorite is the Faded brand. And you can get this at Sephora only, I believe, or they have a website. I'm going to have a picture on the screen as well. I feel like this is really good for evening out dark marks, basically giving you a more even skin tone, etc. So definitely try this product and let me know what you think. I do have to give a little bit of warning. It kind of, some people say it smells like rotten eggs. I don't know. I'm kind of used to the smell at this point. So I don't really have something to compare it to. But if you guys have tried it, let me know what you think about the smell does it bother you not bother you etc to me i use it at night so it doesn't really bother me at all once again but next i'm going to move on to my favorite toner which is from the ordinary this toner is only like eight bucks or 13 it's like between eight and 13 bucks i can't remember but it is the glycolic toner 7%. Some people may feel like that is a little high. So I definitely will work my way up to 7% so you don't burn your skin. Good Molecules has one at like 3.5%. So I definitely would recommend starting there. But again, between this gel cleanser, the La Rose Pose, and this toner that I've been using... I don't have any hormonal breakouts, and that is saying a lot for me. So I don't know if it's the toner, I don't know if it's the cleanser, but I just use both, and I just let it do its thing, because I don't, again, I don't know who to give the credit to. So just to be on the safe side, be sure to get both. And again, both of these products are very cheap, too. That is the main thing. So I am so glad to share products that you don't have to break the bank in order to see results. I also like to moisturize with vitamin E. It is the 500 IU. I get it from Walmart personally, but I believe they have a website as well. You could just um, put the brand, it's the Jason brand. I have it on the screen in Google. But again, be careful not to buy stuff off Amazon because I just don't trust Amazon for like my beauty products. I'll buy like other little things from their gadgets or whatever. But when it comes to my beauty products, they got to be the real thing. But I really like this vitamin E because vitamin E is really good for giving you a even skin tone. It's very lightweight. You don't need a lot. A little goes a long way. You can also use this in your hair. You can use it on your eyelashes, etc. So it is very good. So that is definitely a tip that I would recommend. And I also will recommend wearing sunscreen as it is getting hotter and 
I know the running narrative in the black community is that, oh, we as black people don't leave sunscreen, etc. But I want to debunk that. We definitely have to protect and take care of our melanin so it can be popping for years to come. And sunscreen is very good at assisting in that. So if you do suffer from hyperpigmentation, a fun fact is that if you are not protecting your hyperpigmentation against the sun... It is what may be causing it to get darker. So I definitely like black girl sunscreen. I'm going to leave a picture on the screen. I also went to my dermatologist and they have a special kind that is zinc mixed. I'm going to leave that on the screen as well. But for my full skincare routine, I actually have a skincare routine video for dark skin baddies on my page so be sure to check that out and my final tip when it comes to skin is definitely to invest in some pimple patches i have the ones that i use on the screen i get them from walmart as well but i believe they sell them in pretty much all type of drugstores anywhere you can get beauty supplies they're going to sell them outside of like the beauty supply store anywhere you can get like um, every day, like a Target type of vibe, you're going to be able to find pimple patches. And I feel like if I do have a small breakout and I put a pimple patch on by the morning, it is to the surface and it is gone. I feel like pimple patches are a lifesaver. So if you suffer from any type of acne, any type of active breakouts, and you may have experienced, if you were like a picker, like I used to be, for one, please stop doing that. Don't pick your skin because it leaves hyperpigmentation, etc. But pimple patches are a good way to assist you and to stop picking. So they have all type of brands. But again, the one that I use is on the screen. But let me know if you ever use pimple patches, what you think about them, etc. But next, we are going to get into diet. So I'm just going to share a few little things that I like to do in order to basically maintain my weight. I'm not in the uh, market to lose weight or gain weight. I just like to maintain and to stay as toned as possible. So my first tip is to use chia seeds. Chia seeds are very good and they're high in fiber. They reduce belly fat and they are very rich in antioxidants, which is good for your skin as well. So I just basically sprinkle chia seeds on top of any foods that I'm eating, whether it's yogurt, whether it's a meal that I cooked, etc. They're tasteless, they're small. So it you could just put them on anything anytime to basically digestion is really a key point into overall health and it helps with when it comes to that high fiber so i definitely would recommend basically mixing chia seeds in any and everything that you eat i also really like to meal prep so that i don't just end up consuming a bunch of junk food a bunch of fast food, none of that type stuff. So I usually take one day out of the week. I usually pick my first off day, which is a Friday, and I will cook a meal for the whole next week. So some of my favorite things to cook in meal prep is chili, tacos, sushi bowls, spaghetti. I also will do something like some, maybe some fish, broccoli, and some rice, or, you know, some type of variation of that type of meal. I don't really eat chicken but i know chicken is good for you if you get some good quality chicken i'm more of a fish girly personally i don't eat hamburger meat or anything like that so if you are kind of like on the vegan verge or you're pescatarian etc and you're looking for a good alternative to ground beef i have the garden meatless meat on the screen to me that is hands down the best one in the market so if you're looking for a replacement for again ground beef turkey meat etc be sure to try that out and let me know what you think but next i really like juicing i wish that i had the time to just juice fresh juice every day but unfortunately i do not so my favorite organic brand when it comes to juices is the evolution brand i like all the flavors pretty much um of course, the super green flavors, but I also really like the Cistric Zinc. I like the ones that they add ginger into it. You could definitely taste the ginger. And to me, ginger keeps the um, the little bugs away in your body and basically keeps you healthy, etc. And then I also like to drink as much water as I can. Of course, it's not always works out that way, but a good rule of thumb is to weigh yourself divide by two and then have that amount of water in ounces 
every single day. Again, just do the best you can to slowly work up to that goal, especially if water is not something that is in your life. Just again, slowly work it up because water, as we know, we're made up of majority water is good for your hair, good for your skin, good for your nails, good for your overall health. Now, last thing, I'm going to end with some lifestyle hacks. So for me, in order to tone up, stay in shape, etc., I really personally like to walk. I like to stretch. I like to stretch a lot when I'm at work so I can just basically be making money on the clock and getting a little workout in at the same time. I also do not really drink alcohol. I feel like when I stop drinking alcohol, I only drink on special occasions like a birthday or something like that. So I literally go months and months without drinking. I feel like I'm more hydrated. I have more energy. So if you are a... um girly who enjoys a margarita every weekend or every other weekend or whatever i would challenge you to kind of cut back i also seen a good improvement in my skin as well so just i will encourage you to cut back and see if you notice any changes within your skin hair energy etc and lastly i really like a good massage I always add massages into my budget because I feel like when I get a massage, I can decompress. It's a stress reliever. It's also working out the kinks in your body. If you are like me and you're in nursing, et cetera, and you're on your feet all day, massages. I definitely would recommend if you... You can find some some good massages for $100. So I would definitely recommend us girlies budgeting a massage at least once a month. I just go personally whenever I feel stressed. I don't care if I just went last week. I'm going again. So definitely try out massages and let me know what you think. And also, let me know what you think of the overall video. Also, leave your tips and tricks and how you preserve your pretty privilege and just some things that you are wanting to try out, some things that you have not tried out, etc. Or some things that you may want to know more about, some products, etc. Just leave any and all thoughts in the comments. Be sure to like and subscribe to my channel. Also, be sure to tell a friend to tell a friend because we are lit over here. And there are plenty more videos to come. But until next time, see ya.